Ready? Thank you all for attending this event. And you'll be spending the next 20 minutes or so with me. So I'm hoping to leave you with access to some really great insights and research. So before we start, I'd recommend you have your phones ready. It'll be a bit of an interactive session and have it enabled to scan QR codes because I'll be sharing you um, throughout the presentation session today access to some resources and material. Allow me first to introduce myself. My name is Bill Arvindani and I'm the UK and Ireland Country Manager for Spacewell. I spent nearly the last two decades within the smart buildings, IoT and energy management industry, working across all vertical sectors globally, which has really given me the ability to see how technology has been adopted and how quickly it's evolved over the recent years, including the drivers that have accelerated these investments to deliver new outcomes from our buildings. And today I'd like to share with you some of these insights in how the next evolution is taking shape, particularly centered around the theme of connecting the dots and breaking down the data silos to help enable better outcomes for organizations. So let's begin. Considering the number of factors and influences impacting how buildings need to be operated today, this guy looks pretty zen about it, all right? Well, imagine if you could be. Organizations all around the world are facing a number of challenges when it comes to achieving many of these goals and objectives, because we all understand the complexities when it comes to operating and managing buildings, including the multiple stakeholders involved. Without the right data and insights delivered to these stakeholders, decisions and investments are always harder to make, often made in isolation and have a higher risk of failure. So let's dig a little deeper into some of these areas. The world of facility management has changed considerably over the last decades. FM is having to evolve from being just a mere service provider to become a proactive decision maker responsible for the design, maintenance, optimization and utilization of the office environment, whilst enhancing and improving occupant experiences and wellness, all done more sustainably driving towards net zero. How do you transform FM to be more outcome driven when it has so many areas to focus on? I'm sure that many of you on the call and listening in are already in the journey to addressing some of these challenges. However, let's continue and see if these other factors resonate with you. When it comes to the places and spaces we work in, there hasn't been such a transformational change in my living memory during and post COVID. However, even before, spaces have and always will be a huge operational expense for every organization. So it's a clear, obvious choice to focus on how they can be better optimized. Thanks to the advancements in IoT sensor technology, investments in space occupancy and air quality monitoring have happened. These have helped to justify larger investments or to change or renegotiate leases. However, Often these siloed monitoring solutions are implemented and only looking at data from a certain lens or for a particular stakeholder. Knowing that the air quality is poor in an area is useful information to know, but then how do you get that insight to the right person to do something about it? And that's still a reactive process. Better yet, what if you could proactively manage the air quality in spaces, predicting failures, offering people the choice based on the desired comfort levels, the way people work and how they experience work is changing rapidly. The spaces in which they work must also evolve. One such evolution has been in the adoption of hybrid working. Already this year, I've seen many organizations continuing to invest in rethinking and redesigning their workplace assets. And these investments have to have long lasting effects to deliver on multiple use cases. And planning such investments can only be done with the right data and insights. We've recently done a number of studies in this area together with our research partners, and I strongly recommend you checking them all out. By scanning the QR code on this slide, you'll have access to all of our research. Fundamentally, when talking about hybrid working, it's again the extreme pressures on office costs with the changing dynamics of digital working, that demands a more flexible, intelligent and connected workplace. As we know, places need to work for us, the people. And in comparison, we the people are by far the largest expense for any organization and the people are demanding better workplace experiences, healthier environments whilst being connected to their colleagues. 
The research around productivity and cognitive improvements that are linked to poor air quality can no longer be ignored. We've all been in that meeting where we find ourselves falling asleep. And the pandemic shone a greater light into the importance of air quality and the risks of infection spreading in poor environmental conditions. In this new hybrid connected world, people becoming closer to their organizations and places of work has also been another focus area for many organizations. One such investment has been the rise in the adoption of occupant apps. These apps help unlock a number of use cases to help people find a meeting room easier, collaborate and connect with their colleagues and have access to resources and service. It's clearly the right use for this type of technology. People becoming sensors or sources of data for analysis should not be a scary thought. As long as it's done ethically and within GDPR guidelines, it can really help organizations transform and continually improve the way that places work for people. However, if these solutions and applications are again only delivered in isolation, then their true full potential can never be realized. Sharing data and insights to other stakeholders can deliver better outcomes, improving operational efficiency from maintenance, for example. How desks are made available can be done more sustainably, not having to heat, light or clean unused spaces. And staying on this topic, which leads us to the next focus area and one that's close to my heart and I've been advocating on for a very long time. I mean, we've all experienced the recent rising costs of energy. I'm often turning the heating off in my home through the app and my wife and kids are turning it back on. And shocking, even until recently, that global warming was considered by some world leaders as fake news. Thankfully, we've seen commitments from governments and organizations globally, setting aggressive targets towards net zero, reducing their energy and carbon output. Now, I found this stat from the World Economic Forum quite shocking, that just 9% of the surveyed companies are actively using software that supports the data collection and analysis for their ESG reporting goals. When buildings in the EU account for 40% of total energy consumption and 36% of greenhouse gases, now is the time to act. While many yet still have the basic challenges related to actually having a clear picture on where and how they're consuming their energy. When you consider the huge amount of CapEx investments that will need to be made in buildings, such as replacing outdated plant to more energy efficient or renewable solutions, Without the right baseline data and understanding of which buildings have the most energy saving potential, many organizations still struggle to know where to start. Legislation, certification and reporting standards are added pressures on organizations. For all, the journey should start by bringing together energy data in a consolidated and normalized way. Only then can you know where to invest and then be able to track the performance of those investments. We all have a role to play as this challenge is one that not only affects us, but future generations to come. And here Spacewall have recently released uh, a great e-guide that helps organizations truly understand how they can take a data driven approach to managing their ESG strategy. So I strongly recommend scanning the QR code to get access to that. When addressing each area in isolation, it can impede the collaboration amongst multiple stakeholders. Making buildings work for people involves the collaboration with multiple stakeholders. Buildings as we know are complex and without the right planning and requirements gathering from the people and departments involved, from both the owner and the occupier, external service providers, you cannot easily deliver against the goals and objectives. Breaking the silos isn't just from a data perspective. It's connecting people across the building value chain of a building. And when these stakeholders can make decisions collaboratively, only then can you start to deliver all these commitments. There are also many application areas and technologies that operate in isolation today and can deliver against specific use cases when operating and managing buildings. It's only when you start to connect the dots to share data to derive more powerful insights. For example, imagine being able to analyze and generate insights across a space with its air quality, the occupant feedback, the consumption of energy, the asset performance, the maintenance costs with predictive insights. 
moving maintenance from an input or hours based approach through to an outcome based delivering against multiple objectives. By integrating various data sources and eliminating silos, it can lead to more profound cooperation between different departments and stakeholders across the building value chain. When considering the technology platform provider, there are certain characteristics to look at. Firstly, when it comes to the technology stack, it's essential to look for hardware agnostic platforms. No two buildings are the same, and they have a mix of different manufacturers, ages and capabilities. Bringing together OT, IT and IoT data sets together, including data from other cloud platforms and manual sources of data, it's the first stage of the journey. It's strongly recommended to work with a master systems integrator or an SI in this area, as they specialize in bringing together data from multiple sources so that it can be standardized and normalized. Only then can you have a source of truth of your data, which can now be processed and analyzed using also advancements in technology, such as artificial intelligence and machine learning. APIs and, and SDKs are also essential when considering a platform provider allowing you the ability to develop custom applications, as well as sharing data and insights to other applications. And also, importantly, security and scalability are important considerations when looking at technology providers. Only then can you start to break the data down the data silos. And then when it comes to connecting the dots, um, a recent study conducted by Vedantix describes the transformation of IWMS to Connected Portfolio Intelligence Platforms, or CPIP. Yep, I know what you're thinking. Another acronym to remember. The CPIPs, or Cloud Connected Platforms, help firms enhance the performance of buildings across portfolio management, operations, employee experience. And these platforms intelligently combine data from building systems and smart building devices and IoT sensors combining it with advanced analytics such as AI and ML. They generally characterize by having a broad suite of modules covering FM, workplace, maintenance, assets, leases and energy, able to manage data from multiple sources, including real-time data inputs from sensors and BMS, and offering advanced analytics across multiple modules, all delivered through a consistent user interface across all application areas. Again, I'd strongly recommend scanning the QR code as you'd get access to the white paper that Vedantix conducted in this area to learn more about this advancement in technology. So what approach are we taking here at Spacewell? As an organization, for many years, we've been developing software that cover a wide range of application areas, serving many people in many buildings around the world together with our partners. And our application portfolio shouldn't surprise you that it's a connected portfolio intelligence platform covering a number of different application areas from workplace where we offer a flexible workflow and iot platform to manage your fm business processes to maintenance which can help develop multi-year maintenance plans and manage hard operation services through to energy which is our ai powered energy management platform to help optimize energy and carbon footprint. And for this session, we'll be going into a bit more detail around our energy management platform. Starting with Detect, which is a virtual audit for each building. And for many organizations that are at the early stage of the journey, not knowing where to start, with Detect and a small amount of data from your monthly bills, location, and a few other parameters, Organizations can quickly look at their portfolio buildings and benchmarking them not only just against each other, but others of similar type and really be able to identify which buildings have the most energy saving potential, as well as getting recommendations and investments for those improvements. The next stage of that journey is through Analyze, where we can, with real time monitoring, really help organizations gain deeper insights on how their buildings are performing from an energy perspective covering all types of energy sources, including renewables and data from other sources such as IoT, with 50 plus analytical screens can help organizations get multiple types of insights on how to manage, improve and get their buildings to the highest standards of energy efficiency. 
coupled with reporting and dashboarding, you can share those insights with multiple stakeholders, including being able to track and manage your projects through our measurement and verification tools. And when it comes to analyzing large volumes of data, our optimized module can really help automate that with artificial intelligence based energy management advice. These insights can help move reactive processes to become more proactive, automated in a way to help organizations really improve their operational efficiency of their buildings. And with our apps and APIs, uh, our organizations and partners using our application can really free themselves developing custom applications to meet specific use cases, freeing yourself from our roadmap, developing your own across our platform. So to get access and learn more about any one of our application areas, I strongly recommend you scan the screen now. The QR code will give you access to more information as well as being able to get access to live demos. All of this is then built on a global, reliable and scalable platform, offering all the components you would expect to find from an open and collaborative platform provider. So when it comes to connecting the dots and breaking down the data silos, it is possible to then enabling both the owners and occupiers and all the stakeholders in between to deliver against the multiple goals and objectives and accreditation standards. Transforming the way places are operated to become more efficient and sustainable, moving proactive processes to become predictive, proactive and outcome driven, increasing the people engagement through enhancing occupant experiences and overall well-being. So I'd like to thank you all again for your time and attention. Let us break the silos and connect. And I hope you all enjoyed the session today. Thanks again.